can you tell us a little bit about, your, about yourself and what's your name? My name is Shelleen George. I come from a big family, um, from the Suquamish tribe. I am oh. almost 32 years old, oh. and I have two children, and I've commercial fished for most of my life. Um, where have you fished, and what for? I've fished, uh, Started in California, used to fish 10 months out of the year. Started in California, Ventura, Oxnard. Um, we'd fish squid out of Ventura. Squid, you only fish during the nighttime and you get weekends off in California. It's just part of the fishing fishing game right rules. And then we'd move to San Francisco. We'd fish squid for a couple months. Then we'd do San Francisco and that would be herring inside the Bay Area. We'd gill net those. Um, and most of those were gill netted for the eggs inside of the herring. They'd most get shipped to Japan. And I fished Kodiak for, s or Sitka, excuse me, Sitka, Alaska for herring. And then Kodiak, Alaska for herring. And then Sandpoint, Alaska for salmon. And Dutch Harbor, Alaska for salmon. Um, why, why did you pick this career? Um, I kind of think this career picked me, honestly. I think being a native and growing up um, around the water and on the beach and eating fish, working hard, smelting at a young age. <laughs> I think that um, I married my husband and his dad owned a big boat and that's kind of how I got really into it. At first I was a fisherman's wife and then started fishing. Um, how long have, have you think you've been fishing? First year, well, my whole life I've, I've fished for smelt and other littler things here, but uh, I was 17 years old when I first went to Alaska. And what would you say, how, how, how is your... How's it like been going? Um, it's it was an adventure. It's been an adventure. I've been seeing a lot of places, seen a lot of things. Fishing is very um, intense. It's very hard work, and it's very dirty work, and um, not a lot of people can hack it. Being a fisherman, you gotta. You got to be able to live on small confined spaces for long periods of time with other stinky men around you. <laughs> what do you think the hardest part of fishing is? The hardest part? Well, for some I'd say being away from their family. For second I'd say physical. It's, it's very hard physical work and you're constantly, you're constantly uh, pushing yourself to the limit. I'd say you're you're working very hard. You're you're working so hard to the point where you're kind of you're almost breaking, make it or break it. You know, you feel like you can't go no further. You don't want to keep going, but you do because it's something I love to do, fish. How much money do you think you make each year? Ooh, okay. That's uh that's a little it's it varies. It definitely varies. I've had some very good years and I've had some very bad years. Some years you'll be lucky to break even. And other years, you do very good. It, it depends on the run of the fish. It depends on how many men are fishing and really what boat you're on. But uh, I'd say I used to clear, I'd, I made about $120,000 a year fishing. How long is your longest trip and where? Longest trip, we would... Let's see, I'd say Sandpoint, Alaska would be our longest trip. We'd leave Bellingham, it'd take us seven days to get to Alaska, to Sandpoint. And when we got there, it was about a three month fishery. Before we, before we went back home, it was about three months. So I'd been out on the boat one time, 17 days straight, didn't touch land, and we didn't have a shower on board. <laughs> 
Mm, where Where is your favorite place to fish? I really enjoy fishing at home here and exercising my treaty rights here at home. That's important to me. Um, it's also tax free. We don't get taxed on our own tribal fisheries, whereas Alaska, the money I make in Alaska and other fisheries, I have to pay taxes on. So I, I'd, I'd rather fish at home. I really enjoy Alaska scenery, though. It's beautiful, but it's a lot harder work in Alaska. <laughs> it's a lot colder and, you know, worse, worse uh, weather. So. Uh, what what would you rather prefer, gill nets or pertainers? Hmm. I'm a saner at heart forever. I I really I prefer pertainers, but uh, gill nets is is a little harder work. It's a little more messy. It's a lot more with your hands. But I like I like saners myself. All right. Well. That, that's it, and thank you for coming. Thank, thank you for, for having sharing. me.